Okay, hello and welcome back to part 3 of this Bucket plugin development tutorial series. Um, in this video we're going to be adding a block populator to grow some grass on the sort of plain, well, hilly terrain that we generated. And actually, I have noticed something <laughs> just now um, that I'm sure people have been screaming for the previous two videos. I called this no so flatlands generator instead of not. Um, just a typo, but you know, it's wrong, so let's fix it. So, if you ever need to do this, the way you can rename a class in Eclipse is just by going to on the class here. You can right click, go to refactor, and then rename. And then you get this box where we can add our T. Then just click finish, and it'll take a while to do stuff, and that's it, done. And also, if you notice that we just go back to our main class, it actually renames the instance of it the here. It added, it added that T for us here, so it's quite good the way it does that, really. Um, I also previously mentioned that I forgot to mention something and then didn't tell you what that thing was um, and that was that in our plugin.yml file uh, I did actually mention this in the Flatlands tutorial but I did want to go over it again well say it again at least um, we had to add load startup and what this does is just means that our plugin will load before um, the worlds load or like any other plugins that haven't got this will load um, and that's important because uh, Multiverse the plugin needs to have access to our plugin when it loads itself, if that makes any sense. Um, so that's why we did that. And uh, you know, the world generator needs to be there before the worlds need it. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, that's enough of that. So they're the things I forgot and the thing I've needed to fix. So now let's get on with adding our populator. So what we need to do is go back to our generator and we need to add the populator that we're about to create to our um, list of populators you know, that go with this generator. Um, and actually what I want to do is change this slightly. So instead of generating ridiculously big hills, what we want to do is generate sort of fairly flat planes with just minor elevation changes. So what we're going to do is just change the noise parameter here, which is for the minute between minus 12 and positive 12. We're going to change it to be being between minus 2 and positive 2. So there you go, that's that. And this should look a bit like the planes biome, which has been added recently. So, there you go, that's that. Um, so now, what we need to do is, like I said, add to our populators list. So we'll do populators, add, and then our populator. So we're going to call this class the new the actual populator we're about to create. Not, so flat lands grass populator it's going to be growing the grass, basically. And then we can have another one for flowers, another one for lakes, as many as you want. So, that needs to be created, and an easy way to do that is to just hover over it, and go to create class here, like so, there we go, and this window will appear, if I can just bring it down without it lagging out, there we go. So you can see that, well, you can just ignore all that and just click finish, and then you can see that it has um, created a class for us which already extends the block populator class which is kind of handy, just saves a bit of typing um, we can just delete these sort of pointless comments because they're not necessary and I'll just get rid of that space because I don't like having that space there right so with our generated code what we need to do is sort of tidy up a bit so we're going to change these parameters so that they represent what they actually are so arg0 is we can tell from this type is the world so we can just change that to world arg1 is a random, so we can change that to random, and arg2 is a chunk, so we can change that to chunk. Like so. Okay, so within this, we are going to need our x, y, and z variables, so we'll just define those here. So int x, y, and z. And then essentially we're going to do the same loops that we used in our generator. So we're going to do for x equals 0, uh, while x is less than 16, increment x. Oops, there we go. And then inside here we're going to do another loop for the y coordinate, so for y equals 0, uh, while y is less than 16, increment y. There we go. So now inside this check here, essentially what we're doing is something for every column of the chunk, for all you know 16 that way and 16 the other way. I know you can't see me pointing, but left and right, but no, <laughs> left and sort of straight on, X and Y, 
Um, so what we need to do inside here is check a probability because we're going to give each block a chance of having a grass block on top of it. So um, well, we're going to check that first. So we need to do say if random, which is how we're going to do the probability by generating a random number. So random next int and pass in 100, which will generate a number between 0 and 100. Um, it'll include 0, but it won't include 100. That's something I actually got wrong previously. Uh, someone left me a comment and I checked into it and it's, they were right. Um, you've probably read the comment, to be honest. But um, So essentially what we're doing is actually getting our percentages off by like a bit less than 1%. Because I was saying like it includes 100, but it doesn't. But, you know, never mind. Uh, so the proper way to check for you know, like a 60% chance is to use 100 here and then less than 60, not less than or equal to. So once we've determined that you know, this block should have grass on top of it, we need to actually do that. Um, so we need to get the highest block somehow, and there are two ways to do this really. One of them is using the get highest block at uh, method from the world uh, object, which is the method I used previously, I think. Um, and the other way is to use a for loop, like starting from y equals something and going down until you get to grass. Um, and we're going to be using that method here. And the reason for that is that I want to show you both methods. And also, um, it kind of makes sense because we know that our hills are going to be no lower, no absolutely no higher than 40 blocks. So here we can just do for y equals 40 uh, while, uh, well, we need to get the block. So while chunk get block x, y, and z. And while it's, oops, sorry, while it's type, so we need to get the type of that block, so um, like that. And while that type is equal to material air, we want to reduce y. OK, sorry. Uh, <laughs> We wanted to do it for every... Okay, yeah, sorry. This should be Z here. I'm just being silly with my coordinate system. That's right. Yep, yeah, good. Um, so actually, we don't want to do anything for inside of here. We just want to um, go down till we get to something that's not air, which in the case will be grass, because it's all we've put on the top layer. So we can actually delete these two brackets here and just put one of those like that. And then underneath this loop, which does basically nothing, we will know that whatever y coordinate we have left over um, will be the coordinate of our grass block. So we need to get the block above it and set it to long grass. Easy enough. So the way we do that is the same. So we'll just do chunk get block at x, the y is going to have to be y plus 1, oops, like so, and the z is just z. For the reason I just explained, we want to you know, go one above. So then we can set the type, so set type equal to material dot long, oh not log, is it tall grass or long grass? Long grass is there. Okay, so that's that. So we can test this out now just by exporting this and go to the server. Actually, we'll delete the folder first. So we'll just delete that and start that. And it should generate. Fingers crossed, with no errors. And it looks okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. So we can just go to the game and connect. Oops, and fly into the air. And there you go, you have an absolute loads of absolutely horrible looking dead grass. So the reason this is dead is that, um, actually there's too much of it by a long way. 60% <laughs> was obviously way too much. Um, so yeah, the reason it's dead is the data value controls which type of grass it is. So in various biomes, uh, there's different types of grass. So we can change this quite easily, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about. And also reduce this percentage because it looks completely ridiculous. So we can just disconnect and stop this. 
Um, so the way to change the type first is what we're going to do. Um, but because we need this twice, we're actually going to create a new variable here, which is going to be of type block. So we're going to define it at the top. Type block name is going to be block, and this needs to be imported. So we'll just do that and import. There we go. So here we can define block to be equal to that, like so. And then just underneath we could do block set type. Now underneath that, what we need to do is block set data. Actually, you can do set type and data. I'll probably yeah, let's do that. We've done set data before. So we'll do set type. Let's just delete all this. So block set type and data. Um which is there. Oh, that's ID. Uh, okay, maybe <laughs> Maybe you can't do it like this. I'm sure that. Set, set type. Set, okay, well, fine. Set type. <laughs> Material. On grass. And the type, sorry, the data value controls the type of the grass. So 0 is dead, 1 is just nice, and the other one, 2, is um, like a little pine tree. So set data, and I'm just passing the data, the byte. So it's zero x one, or you can just pass in a one. It's fine. Um, and this needs to be cast because it's not actually a byte as it is at the moment. And now it is that we've cast it. So uh, let's also reduce this percentage. So let's try thirty or twenty, twenty-five, not two hundred and fifty. That'd be ridiculous. Twenty-five. So one more export. Uh, one more folder delete. One more serve start. One more wait. Come on. There we go. So go to the game and we'll join. And we should see loads of nicer grass that rising. Yep, yeah, so there you go. We have much nicer fly, much nicer grass, and there's an awful lot less of it, which looks way better. So yeah, that is pretty much that. Can't see much of it, but the, he's out, here are our planes. In fact, I think it looks a bit too big still. Maybe we should increase the scale slightly. Anyway, this is the sort of thing you can play around with. Um, and in an upcoming video, I'm going to talk about how to do biome-specific chunk generation, which is actually something that's very, very complicated for some reason. Anyway, there we go. So as you can see, by the way, <laughs> here are two biomes, biome 1, biome 2, and a weird border, but when you're generating a chunk, you can, well, I'll go into that uh, for the, in the next one. Well, there you go. Right, so, thank you for paying attention, sitting still. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it.